Okay, um, so when um, Oxfam, on, on behalf of the ECB agencies, received the funding from, from DFID, um, the next question we had, of course, was how we were going to do it. And we could have hired a consultant, but I think for us we felt we wanted a partner. Or rather, I have to admit, I, I think it was me, because I had a vision and I, and I wanted to be part of the process. Um, and I want to keep control of it. I am a control freak. Um, my, <laughs> my team who are here know that. Um, but I think we, we also f wanted to it for to be a learning for us. So we didn't want to just hand over the work to somebody else and then sit back and wait for the products. Um, and we also felt we had a lot to bring to the process. We, we could bring the NGO perspective and, and we could ensure that the guide was grounded in reality and that was therefore useful. Um, so we applied through ELRA. Um, I don't know if any of you know that, but they have a research matching service for an academic partner. Um, and I would strongly recommend it because obviously we got good partners. Um, we had three applicants and we interviewed them and um, these guys came out top. So um, just briefly, what makes for a good partnership? Um, well, I think, I think the fact that there was a mixture of skills and experience in, in our academic partners, the way that, you know, Roger has a lot of, lot of experience, Danny had worked for NGOs, Marcella came with experience, I think that really helped. I think if we'd had three people who had never been outside the hallowed walls of, you know, some of the institutions, I think it would have been harder. Um, and that was really good for them. They, they had both economics, ge geography, humanitarian, you know, quite a lot of experience. And of course, we as Oxfam and the other ECB agencies, we came with the field experience. Um, and I think it probably helped as well that a couple of us as uh, advisors uh, also had um, research experience from our academic uh, back, um, background, you know, with degrees. I think what's really important is that frequent and open communication. Um, we've kind of kept each other for the most part, I think, up to date with what, what, we're, what was happening, with problems that were arising. And it wasn't just around the technology. It was also around if there was a funding constraint, if, um, yeah, t uh, time, field trips, everything. I, I, think, I think we've been very open and honest, and I think that that is absolutely key to a, to a partnership. Um, and I think because we were we were all very flexible. I mean, we changed uh, countries. We had we struggled sometimes to find a country t uh, to test the the uh, methodology. And I think we were very flexible. Um, and and the fact that um, both to the research questions and to the partnership that we, we were very open to exploring and inquiring um, and, and looking for different ways to, to solve problems. I think that helped as well. Um, and especially the fact that it's been an ongoing learning, it's been an iterative process. Um, I think that helped that we, we, we could sit and talk about it. I mean, I can remember Roger and Federica and I sitting in, in this appalling heat in Sri Lanka, um, watching um, the mangy dogs and the chickens sort of around us and discussing the, contribu whether the contribution to change tool. And, and that, that felt really good, the fact that we were able to discuss that together. Um, so just some of the strengths as well. Yeah, we were, we were true partners. Um, we held meetings. Um, we kept each other informed, as I said, and we ma we definitely made decisions together. So I, I do feel that the, this this has been um, a, a, a a guide that has been produced by by all of us, and that that, that feels really good. Um, but we also shared the problems, as I say, that we faced during the research. Um, according to uh, the academics, they found it, it was a genuinely interesting, challenging and relative research problem to work with. Um, for us, Oxfam and the other ECB, I think having a partner who could bring some academic credibility and a different way of looking at things is really quite interesting. Uh, I think as NGOs we get rather entrenched in the way we think and we, we uh, sometimes in emergencies we get kind of hung up on that's the only way you can do it. And it was really interesting to have people who had a completely different way of looking at things and really quite refreshing. Um, so I think it was good learning for both of us. Um, and if the others want to say something afterwards, that'd be great. 
Um, we had excellent project management and administrative support from both sides. I think that's that's you, you, you definitely need that. Um, and I think the main thing that really cemented it was there was mutual respect. Um, and yeah, that, that was absolutely vital. So it's something I would recommend in future for those of you planning to take on pieces of work. I, th I think it, it's, it's um, an excellent way to work for both parties. Thank you. Vivian, thank you.